Once upon a time, on a cliff by the sea there was a small church. Inside the church there was not much, only a few rows of seats and a portrait of Saint Demetrius on a white horse. But nearby lived an old woman called Skujana, who was as faithful as a saint. Every day she brought flowers to the portrait of Saint Demetrius, and she knelt before the painting and prayed. Oh, brave Saint Demetrius, she prayed. Keep my son Marcus safe and strong. Most people did not come all the way to this church, because it was cold and far away, but Skujana came and knelt every single day. From the sea come many beautiful things, but unfortunately it is also the home of pirates. And so it happened that, one night, a pirate ship passing by saw the little church on the cliff. But what the captain was really interested in was not the church, but Skujana's house next to it. That house is easy treasure, he said. There are no other houses for miles around, so there's nobody to stop us. So the pirates came to shore in search of their treasure. Zgujina saw them coming, she had been unable to sleep that night and so had gone to kneel before the portrait of Saint Demetrius. When she saw the pirates, she ran to her house and said, Quick, Marku, hide in the basement. So her son climbed into the basement and shut the door behind him. She moved a table over the door and hoped that the pirates would not find it. When they arrived, the captain said, Ah, it is only an old woman. Where's your treasure, hey? Zgujina was very scared, so she told them immediately where she kept her box of jewelry. The pirates tied her up and found the box, but they weren't happy. Is this it, said the captain. Surely there is more. They searched through the whole house, breaking and opening things, but Zgujina was a simple woman, and her greatest treasure was her son. Just when she thought the pirates might give up, though, they found the door under the table. Aha, said the captain. I knew you were hiding something from me. And so Zgujina had to watch as the pirates broke into the basement, tied up her son and took him away. No, please let my son go. He is a good boy, she cried. And he'll make a better pirate, said the captain. Zgujina sat there tied up, crying as she watched the pirates leave and heard them sail away. It was many hours before anyone heard her cries, it was the priest who was going to the church early in the morning. When he found her, he quickly untied her and asked her what had happened. But Zgujina wasted no time. She ran outside and looked out over the sea. She could just see the ship on the horizon, but it was almost out of view. She ran inside the church, knelt before Saint Demetrius and prayed. Oh, brave Saint Demetrius, she said. If you save my son, I will. I will light a lamp that burns forever. And on this day, faithful Zgujina's prayers were answered. At that moment, Saint Demetrius and his horse jumped out of the portrait and landed in the church. Zgujina couldn't believe it. The painting had come to life. Saint Demetrius rode outside, leaving hoofprints on the grass and jumped off the cliff. But instead of falling to a watery death, his horse landed on the water as if it were hard ground, and ran quickly across the sea. Zgujina and the priest watched as the saint rode under the rising sun and approached the ship on the horizon. The woman knelt down and kissed the hoofprint of the saint's horse, praying that he brought her son back. It wasn't long before St. Demetrius reached the ship. A few minutes passed, and then a figure returned from the horizon, carrying Marku on the back of his horse. My son, cried Zgujina. You saved my son. St. Demetrius' horse flew in the air and landed back on the cliff, 
and Marku returned safely to land, where Zgujana quickly untied him. While she cried and hugged her son, Saint Demetrius quietly returned to the church and climbed back inside his painting. Zgujana never forgot what the saint did for her, and that same day, she went and bought a lamp and filled it with oil. She placed the lamp beneath the portrait of the saint, and every day she refilled the oil so that it burned day and night, all throughout the year. Zgujana remained faithful her entire life, and when she died, Marka took on the job, refilling the lamp whenever the oil ran low. However, Marka did not live forever, and finally there was no one to watch the lamp. A few days after Marka's death, there was a strong earthquake in that region, and part of the cliff broke away and fell into the sea, along with most of the church. With the earthquake, Zgujana's lamp finally went out. At least, that was what people thought. But soon stories started to come from local fishermen. Ever since that earthquake, there was a strange light seen at night, in the sea near the cliff. One brave fisherman decided to swim down into the water and find out who it was. And there, lying at the bottom of the sea, was Gujana's lamp, still burning faithfully. It is said that the lamp still burns today, although the ruins of the church are long gone. But if you go to a certain cliff on the coast of Malta and look closely at the ground, you might just see some hoofprints. <laughs>